Hello everyone, Tom Reimer, the Dynasty Percussion Manager here today. I am with Chris Romanowski. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm great, Tom. How are you? I am very well. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, introduce yourself and your role within CV Indoor. All right. Well, uh, my name is Chris Romanowski. I'm the designer, caption head, and arranger for Atlanta CV Drum and Bugle Corps, which has spawned off into Atlanta CV Indoor. Uh, this is actually our second year out. Uh, in 2015, we came out in uh, world class, uh, had a great season. Uh, in 2016, uh, a whole bunch of our returning members and staff, including myself, actually uh, did a tour of China performing. Uh, it, it's all over in uh, Beijing, and uh, it was pretty awesome, but it didn't allow us to, to come out in 2016. So we came back this year. Uh, we're in uh, independent open, and uh, things have been going really well. We've had a, a great season. Uh, the members have just been working really, really hard, and I think we're in a good place here going into Dayton. We're really excited to everybody see the show and see the group. Excellent, excellent. Could you um, just give us a little uh, insight into the 2017 production? Sure, sure. Uh, the show is entitled uh, Reflections of Me. We start with a complete blank floor. Uh, in the center of the floor, there's a, like an eye with a, a shadow on it. We have a movement person that, that kind of develops uh, off and says, ever since I was little, I was raised to believe that the uh, the choices I make and the friends that I keep are going to be a direct reflection of me. And this person stands up and there's a reflection in the eye and she moves towards the mirrors, which all the members are back there. Uh, the second voiceover then introduces the rest of the program uh, where it says, uh, even today, I wonder uh, when I walk into a crowded room, I wonder what people are going to think of me. And the entire ensemble comes out from behind the backdrop and bam, right there, we're off with the opening snare lick and, and we're rolling. And then we go into our movement two, which um, there's a voiceover that kind of sets it up. It says, uh, I like to think uh, that my friends are up-tempo and fun like me. And she does cartwheels through the through the percussion section and the tempo just bam. We're, we're running and drumming. Jeff Saktik wrote the drill. So we're off and firing. And it's, uh, it's fun. It's up-tempo. And we're really driving. Gets us to the ballad uh, where it's more uh, kind of introspective. Basically, the voiceovers are talking about, do people see what I see? Do they really see what, what, I, what I am? And uh, we, we do some interaction between the members and uh, solo stuff in the mirrors. And then we get into the next section where we, we roll right through uh, our, our battery breaks. Snares come out, and they say, I'm the type of person that likes to take risks. And bam, we're just out there laying it out on the line in the snare line. Uh, and then, you know, quads, quads are always that voice that, uh, you struggle with indoors and uh, hearing clear all the time. So the next voiceover says, I need to have my voice heard, and then it sets up the quad break, and they're in. And then uh, a nice little transition. Uh, we like to do a lot of melodic stuff in the closer. We actually, it's a reggae tune. Uh, we have steel pans uh, we just put in two weeks ago. And uh, the setting up the closer, it says, uh, basically, um, what you see in us is a direct reflection of you. And kind of what that means is that you're looking around at the ensemble as a, uh, it's just a fan. And some of us are fans of quad drumming. Some of us are fans of snare drum. Some of us are fans of marimba licks. And it's all in there. So as a person in the, in the, in the stands, you're looking down at the ensemble and, and getting to see those things, you know, that kind of, from your personal experience, attract you to what's going on in the closer. And uh, again, it's super fast. Jeff Saktik just running us all over the place. And at the very end, uh, we bring the mirror back out uh, with a reflective moment with the battery and tilt it back to the audience. And it says, what you see in us is a direct reflection of you. And the audience is looking down at us. And everybody has been going crazy over that because they see themselves up in the, in the stands. And every, you, know, you see everybody start standing up and pointing and waving themselves and trying to get a picture in our mirror. So it's pretty cool little fan interaction at the end. Excellent. Cool. I'm stoked to see you kind of break that fourth wall. And I'm, I'm stoked to see Reggae Tune. I've seen, oh, probably probably thousands of drumline shows. I don't think I've seen a Reggae Tune, at least well, not, we, not one done at a high level. Our, so. front ensemble, our front ensemble instructor, Bobby Crosby, uh, has studied pan very in, in, intensely. He's a great pan player. He's, you know, he's gone and lived over in Trinidad and and played in the festivals, and he uh, he used to teach a high school that had, uh, I think it was like a 60-member pan band, and uh, now he's with us. He teaches at my high school, and he teaches with CV. He's just a 
done an awesome job uh, orchestrating the pan stuff and uh, making it really hip. You know, it's cool to hear that with uh, all the battery stuff behind it and just a different sound, a different timbre. It's cool. Excellent. Cool. Uh, I'd love to have you just speak a little bit about your uh, relationship with Dynasty, with the company, with the product. Yeah, well, I, I've been uh, I've been with Dynasty since 2001, so it's, it's been uh, a, a long, long relationship and a good relationship. Um, back when I used to teach in California at Edwanda High School, I uh, was the first set of Dynasty drums that we ever drummed on. Um, loved them then, love them now. I think some of the best things that uh, that you see from Dynasty is just the custom finishes. I mean, they're they're incredible. You, you can get anything you want. You know, every time that we order something, it just comes in. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. There's a couple right back here. Oh, look at you! I look. I'm set up. <laughs> see what I can get here. Got one. A nice little Dynasty snare there. This one actually I use for my clinics. Uh, the color matches my shoes, so that was kind of nice. You got to set that up. <laughs> we aim to we aim to please. Um, you know the the front ensemble equipment super durable. Sounds great even in the uh, you know we use it outdoor. Um, it's hot. It's real hot in Atlanta. You know hot Atlanta, right? <laughs> but uh, the, the bars, man, even when they get toasted, they still sound good. You know, we go into our shows confident at night that the percussion ensemble is going to sound great all the way through. Great. Excellent. I really appreciate it. Well, um, thank you for taking the time today, Chris, and uh, best of luck in Dayton. Look forward to seeing you out there. I appreciate it. Can't wait to see you guys out there. Everybody hype up TV for us.